So thank you for joining me. I am so glad that you are here. If you hear thunder in the background, we're just going to continue and we'll just keep rolling and hopefully it won't be too loud. I think it's a bit a ways yet. I hope that you're having a great day and as always, you can comment below or send me an email, message WPS at gmail.com. So I want to share this to encourage you, but also because I like to just speak truth into our lives and we all know that there might be some areas in which we are more obedient to God, in which we listen better and hear better. So I wanna share a recent example of mine because I have moved two times at the Lord's direction. And so when I first moved to Wisconsin, after living in Minnesota, God was very clear about where I needed to be, etc. When I moved from a different home in Wisconsin to where I am now, God was very clear about that as well. So I feel like when it comes to moving, I kind of have that down path that I know what he's trying to tell me when he's trying to tell me. And so I always think, well, if he's ready for me to move, he will instruct me. So I was kind of just having some thoughts about that. And I know that he is not ready for me to move because of something that was said to me when I first moved here. And it has not come to pass, it is not complete, which led me to some scripture in Colossians. And that's where we're gonna go today in our time together. You know, if God is instructing you and he has given you something specific for a specific time, place, purpose, etc., if he's given you those instructions until it is completed, unless he releases you, you need to stay where you are. And so I wasn't planning on moving. That's not where I'm going with this. It was just something that I was thinking about because I'm just so much more in tune and obedient to when he asks me to move. Because the first time he asked me to move, I was a spoiled, rotten child and didn't go very willingly. And I went, but I, I didn't go very willingly. And so I've just learned to be obedient in that particular area. So let's go to Colossians here. So Paul was writing, and this is sort of at the final greetings and the benediction. And this was the verse that kind of came to mind when I was thinking about this moving and there, were, there was a word that was given to me here living here and that is not come to pass it is not complete for my understanding of where i'm at right now so for now i'm still here and that's okay because where i live is wonderful but also if god said no more wonderful go somewhere else i would go wherever he is instructing so let's get into colossians here so um this is paul writing and we're starting in verse 11. And Jesus, who is called Justice, greets you. These are the only ones of the circumcision among my co-workers for the kingdom of God, and they have been a comfort to me. Epaphras, who is one of you, a servant of Christ Jesus, greets you. He is always wrestling in his prayers on your behalf so that you may stand mature and fully assured in everything that God wills. And so I was thinking about that because it says, he was always wrestling in his prayers on your behalf and maybe you're wrestling with something that God is asking you to do. And so when I think about this, that it says, stand mature, fully assured in everything that God wills, letting everything that God spoke to you, let his words be complete. And so if you have an area of your life, whether maybe you're not as obedient as you should, hopefully this will encourage you. Maybe you have an area of your life that you're really obedient, but not the others. Let this encourage you. But if God has given you a word, until that word is complete, you're not done with where you are. So, armor up. We ride at dawn. May God bless you as always. Have a great day.